Hi there! This is a little reminder video that I created just to remind you of the steps on how to edit text in a scanned Adobe document. Um, this is one of the scholarship applications that you sent over, so I will use that as my example. Uh, once you have it opened in the Adobe window, just make sure that this button is clicked. This is what will turn your cursor into a text highlighter, so just make sure it should be clicked automatically, but you never know. So what you're going to do is find the text that you want to change. In this example, I'm going to scroll down to the second page, and I'm assuming that this, you know, May 1st, 2014 would maybe need to be changed to 2015 for the current school year. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is highlight the text that you want to change with your mouse. So I just highlighted 2014 since that's all I'm going to change. You can highlight whole paragraphs, you can highlight whole pages, whatever you want to do. The next thing you do is go up here to the tools bar and go ahead and click. Look in your listing and make sure that this te text recognition button is there. If it's not, you can go up here, click, and just click on this to make sure that there's a checkbox there. In our case, we already have it in our list. So open up your text recognition and it, you'll see a variety of choices. We're going to choose in this file. So go ahead and click on that and it will pop up this recognized text box. I already have these set to the right settings, but um, if you need to change them, you can click on edit. And I like to make sure that it's on clear scan, and then you can choose either 300 or 600 DPI is going to be fine. This just tells you how clear it's going to be, so I figure why not make it the clearest it can be. So I usually choose 600. And then go ahead and OK. Once you confirm that these look right, yep, clear scan, 600, you can go ahead and click OK here as well. So now you can see it's doing a bunch of funny, cool little things, and you can just let it do its thing and wait patiently, I guess. Now it's all done. So once um, it's all ready, you go back down and find that same text that you had highlighted before, and I'm going to highlight it again, that 2014. Now I'm going to right-click with my mouse, and that's going to pull up a menu right here. From this menu, you're going to want to choose Edit Text because that's what you want to do. You want to change your text. So I'll click on Edit Text and you'll see that all of a sudden all the um, words are turned into text boxes, which is great. That's exactly what we want. So once all these text boxes are here, you can change any of the text. Like I'm going to change this to 2015. Now, there's this warning thing that comes up that says that the original font is not available, and that's fine. Um, obviously, it's not the same exact font as right here, but you can do things to make it look this, you know, more similar. For instance, I'm going to, you know, maybe put it at an 11 size font so it's a little bigger, or maybe even a 12, just because it, it blends in a little bit better. Um, you can also change the you know font so if you're if you really want to get picky and try to match it up perfectly you know you're more than welcome to try to to do that I don't know if for your purposes it matters but um, once you have the date changed you're you're in good shape and please notice too like if you see other things that need to be changed like maybe the scholarship amount is 2000 now you can change anything that's in one of these highlighted text boxes so once it's changed, you can go ahead and um, save it again. So now that it's saved, it should pretty much be good to go. Um, just to double check, I'm going to exit out. And now I'm just going to reopen it on my desktop just to make sure the change is stuck. I'm going to scroll down, and yep, sure enough, 2000, 2015, that wasn't the best font choice, but you get an idea. So that's how you can easily change things um, once you've already gotten them scanned in. Just feel free to let me know if you have any questions or shoot me an email.